Okay, in this video, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about AS external LSA. So here, this is the type 5 LSA. So AS external LSA is advertised by the ASPRs to describe the list of networks outside the OSPF domain. They are not associated with any areas. So basically, these are the networks or list of networks that the ASPR is injecting into the OSPF domain. So in this case, uh, R1 is an ASPR router, so uh, and it has a this network here in another. Uh, domain in this case AIGRP. So um, this network here is an AS external LSA that ASBR is injecting into the uh, into the OSPF domain. So uh, meaning that R1 is going to have one uh, ASBR. I mean, uh, one external LSA and two, R2 is going to have, R2 is an ABR router and it's going to have a, an external AS, a one AS external LSA and R3 is going to have uh, one AS external L LSA also. So, um, <clears throat> So they are not associated with any areas. So meaning that this network here is not going to be part of any areas, uh, area zero and area one. So let's uh, verify this. So let's go to R1. So like I said, uh, network 1.1.1.1 slash 32 is not going to be part of any areas. So let's do a show IP OSPF database. So here, this these are the uh, LSAs in area zero. So we have uh, router LSA, network summary, I mean network LSA, summary network LSA, and they are all uh, part of uh, area zero. But here, uh, this is the external LSA uh, outside of the OSPF domain. So it's not uh, associated with any areas. So this is our type 5 AS external LSA or link states. And it's being advertised uh, by the ASBR router 1, I mean R1 into the OSPF domain. So you can actually look deeper by doing a show IP OSPF database AS mm, not that external let's do a question mark so external so here uh, this is the router ID that of the of router one of course router ID and advertising router is R1 and link state ID this is the uh, AS external LSA or uh, link state ID ID from external network so yep and it has a network mass of slash 32 so let's go to Let's do R3 first. So like I said earlier, R3 is going to have uh, a AS external LSA as well. So OSPF, show IP OSPF database. So here, uh, R3 is only part of uh, area one. So these are the LSAs in area one. But here, type 5 AS external link states. Um, this network here is listed as 
and AES external link state as predicted. So, and it's being advertised by R1. So, let's look deeper by doing a show IP OSPF database external so this is r3 uh, router id course process id1 and this is the advertising router uh, I, like it says here in the description is advertised by the aspr so this uh, the router id of r1 which is an aspr router and this is the external external uh, LSA so here instead here it says external network number so let's go to R2 R2 uh, is an ABR router as mentioned and it does belong to area 0 and area 1 but this uh, AS external LSA is not going to be part of any area, so let's verify that. OSPF database. So this is RT router ID, and these are all the LSAs in area zero, and these are all the LSAs in area one. But here, down below, uh, type it says type. Type 5 AS external link states. Advertising router is R1, and this is the link ID or the external uh, network. So, yeah, that's how you can uh, verify the AS external LSA uh, on the routers using uh, Packet Tracer. So, yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.